This side where we keep all of our feed has been looking really sad lately and we've been talking about building a table and we had some scrap wood laying around so I decided I would just make the table because it was just getting really bad. So truthfully, I really don't know what I'm doing. I found screws that I decided I would screw in and later found out that, or I should say quickly found out that they just were too short and it was just not holding up. So at this point I decided, you know what? We just gotta attach it to the wall and literally screw it into the wall or else this table is going to have zero sturdiness to it. And so I guess in the end it did work in my favor. I did end up attaching it to the wall and it was sturdy and it worked. I decided I would bring you guys through my morning routine, but I will actually talk you guys talk to you guys about just things that have been going on. About four months ago, I lost my horse Rory, and if there are any OGs out there, you may remember that Rory was one of the horses that I brought from Idaho. I actually bought her when I was in high school. She was a two-year-old, and I brought her up completely teaching her everything she knows down to leading and she just became my heart horse my soul horse and I had to say goodbye to her because she stepped on a nail and it tore some tendons and infection got into her coffin bone and it was just a it was just became a mess and it was something that we could never guarantee even if I had millions of dollars to fix it we could never guarantee her comfort and soundness. And I had to say goodbye. And that was four months ago. And I can say that that was a, a grief that was different, but also extremely difficult. Something that I never truly experienced. And when it happened, obviously I did the grief that I needed to, but I didn't realize that four months later is when it would hit like it has. I have felt so burnt out from working with horses because Rory, I put eight years of my life into her and I put all my heart and soul those eight years and we went through so many ups and downs. She taught me how to, she taught me how to listen to the horse, to be okay with their emotions, to work with them instead of against them, to not just ask for perfection all the time. She changed me as a horse trainer. She changed me as a person. She's the reason my method of training horses changed. She's the reason it all happened. And her being gone, one, meant that all those eight years were gone. I no longer had her as a companion. And that, for one, was extremely difficult. But that also meant that I was back at square one, that I no longer had a horse that I felt at home on. I only had green horses. I only had horses that I didn't have a huge relationship with. And because of that, I have felt burnt out. I have felt lost. I have felt like I need that break and it was never a break that I had been willing to take. I grieved for maybe three days, laid in bed for three days and then I got back to work, which at the time was okay. But now I'm just realizing that I, that it is okay for me to take that step back. And it's kind of a hard realization because I was finally living my dream. All I wanted was to train horses. And finally, that was happening for me. And then to have this hit me so hard and then feeling like as soon as I got rolling, I needed to stop and take a break again has been really difficult. These videos that you're seeing right now are videos that were taken a few weeks ago. And 
I don't know if I've actually even rode since these videos were taken. And that's actually been okay. And I think it's something that I need and I'm trying not to push myself. Um, trying not to feel guilty for it because so much has just of training has as much as I love training horses it still takes away the reason at some point of why I enjoy horses in the first point first place and that is the horse part of it I enjoy the horses I love the horses just as they are and so I think it's it's okay for me to still be grieving and to be struggling and feeling lost I know that's okay but it's hard it's horses have been my passion my entire life and to kind of feel that dwindling right now is really confusing and it's really it's really sad for me and it's hard for me to know what's going to happen in the future and be okay with what could happen in the future and um knowing when i'll be back to work with horses that's kind of hard and so um I might have to just force myself to do it and that's the reality of it because I've got to train horses but I think I need to take a break from my personal horses and not force a relationship onto a horse right now and just be okay if I'm in that mode of okay we're just training and we're taking that break from developing relationships. And that might sound really weird, but I feel like that's all I need right now. Because forming a relationship with a horse sounds really, really overwhelming and even depressing because I know what I had and now it's completely gone. <laughs>